high winds whipping up tornadoes in Atlantic as storms pass through Iowa Wednesday. Now those storms bringing downpours and winds up to 70 miles per hour in Ames. Later in the night, reports of a possible tornado causing significant damage in northern Iowa near Rudd. So good morning everybody. This morning we know at least one Iowan has died following dangerous storms that whipped through the state Wednesday. The Iowa State Patrol says winds blew over a semi trailer in Benton County, throwing the driver from the vehicle. He was not wearing a seatbelt and his name has not been released. Well, as cleanup now begins, our crews are around central Iowa and we're joined now by Local 5's Cleo Maycock. But first, we want to check in with Local 5's Taylor Knust. Taylor, where is the National Service surveying damage this morning? Yeah, so this morning they're out in Atlantic and in uh, Guthrie County. This afternoon they're going to head up to uh, northern Guthrie County in Bayard to uh, check out the potential tornado damage there. They may also check out parts of Webster County and Wright County that uh, received some fairly significant damage on Wednesday evening. So let's take a look back at the radar loop and the tornado reports we received in western Iowa. This really all got going in western Iowa around 430 or so had a, a, at least one report of a tornado in Pottawatomie County. Close to five o'clock is when we had several reports of a tornado from Atlantic up to Audubon County, including just on the south side of Audubon there. Uh, this same cell would go on to produce potential tornadoes in northern Guthrie County. We will get confirmation of that in the coming days and then continue to move into Greene County where we had reports of a tornado near Jefferson, even northern Boone County reports of a tornado up there. So a very active stretch there. That line did eventually move across all of Iowa, but this was the tornadic part of the system. 97 of Iowa's 99 counties produced severe thunderstorm mornings uh, across the state of Iowa. A very, very impressive uh, feat for this time of the year. If you didn't have tornadoes, you had the damaging wind gusts. We had some insane straight line winds. 88 miles per hour was measured in Audubon. 83 miles per hour in Decatur City, 82 miles per hour in Ottumwa as well. In Des Moines, the peak wind gust was 74 miles per hour at the airport, and that was after the line of storms rolled through on uh, late Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. On top of all that, it was a historic day as far as temperatures are concerned. We had highs in the mid 70s yesterday afternoon that smashed not only the daily high records, but also the records for the month of December. So a historic day on all counts from the severe weather to the damaging winds to the temperature. Temperatures. It was uh, quite the day out there and uh, all in all uh, a day to remember for us in central Iowa. No doubt about that. We bring in now meteorologist Dave Downey. He's in West Des Moines this morning and uh, checking out some of the damage we had here in the metro. Dave, what are you seeing out there? By off University and 42nd Street. I'm going to step out of the camera here. You can see sign went down behind me. Some pretty extensive damage. I'm going to zoom into that sign right now, actually. Again, this is at University Ave and 42nd in West Des Moines. Uh, happened overnight last night. Had some several wind gusts in that 70 mile per hour range uh, in Des Moines. 74 recorded at the airport. And that was after the initial line went through. That was with a non thunderstorm wind gust. Uh, that is actually the strongest wind gust Des Moines International Airport has seen uh, since 1970 outside of a severe thunderstorm. So, Taylor, you know, we broke a lot of records yesterday. I think there's going to be some talk. You know, is this considered a derecho? It's obviously nothing like what we saw last year in August of 2020. Um, it does meet the criteria for what the Storm Prediction Center uh, says for a derecho, but that could be kind of a discussion for another day. I think Polk County. You know, really avoided the worst of the damage. We were tracking this all night last night live. The line kind of split up as it was going over the metro. Some places north of the city got some pretty strong wind gusts. Of course, we have that tornado damage up in Franklin County. We also saw some notches down in southern Iowa, although not any confirms of tornado reports there as well. The National Weather Service is, of course, out surveying areas to the west of the city. We'll have full reports on those later tonight. But Taylor, again, kind of on that derecho point. It's kind of a moot point, but um, it's an interesting subject, I guess. Yeah, and it's, it's a little bit different than the derecho that rolled through last summer in August, but uh, it, it may technically uh, qualify as a derecho that started in Nebraska and Kansas and then moved through Iowa. Uh, and even Minnesota, parts of Wisconsin, was uh, took the brunt of this storm system. So, uh, Dave, quite historic for this time of the year. No, it was, and I remember seeing some of the texts in the warning boxes that they said, Des Moines said that storm was moving at 110 miles per hour. Uh, just crazy stuff. But for now, we're out here live in West Des Moines. Dave Downey, Local 5 News. We're Iowa. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We now want to take you to Johnston, where a new structure that was built by students, as you can see, is in 
pieces this morning. So this was the outdoor learning environment. It was just opened in October, and that's where we find Local 5's Khalil Maycock this morning. So Khalil, you've been talking to some of the students uh, behind this project. What are they saying? Good morning, Jackie. Actually, we're still trying to figure out who those students are. Um, the stu uh, school is trying to figure out if those students are still here. Um, but they were telling me that this was finished in the springtime, and like you said, it opened up this October. But I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a glimpse of it. Now, crews are out here. This is a bit smaller than it was this morning, Jackie. If you remember, the pile of the mangled roof was a lot larger. It's now been sized down because they have been putting some of it in the trash. Now, I want to pan over to the crews that are taking it away. That is them. They've been working uh, since I've been out here. Now, this flew from across the street over here. Now, that's to the left. Um, and over there this morning, there were a there was a table that was upside down that has been flipped over. Now, back over here to this, once again, this was the learning environment roof that is now out. And Taylor Canoose was telling me before I came out here that there was a strong burst of wind, about 80 miles per hour, that came through Johnston. So live in Johnston, Cleo Maycock, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Thank you very much, Khalil. So let's talk about multiple schools in the metro. They have closed today following Wednesday storms. Willard Elementary, King Elementary, and North High School in Des Moines. They all have had power knocked out. For a full list of closures and delays, you can visit our website, weareiowa.com. Now, power crews are hard at work this morning to restore service for tens of thousands across the state. So here's a look at outages in Iowa right now. There are currently about 40,000 customers still without power, and that's a major improvement from last night's numbers when outages were at or near 100,000. Now, if there is damage in your area, we want to see it. We ask that you send us photos, videos to the number that you see there on your screen. That's 515-457-1026. Now, when weather events like this happen, we know you need to be up to the minute on information. That's why you need to download the We Are Iowa app right now. All you have to do is scan that QR code that you see on your screen and make sure that notifications are turned on like for weather so you don't miss important updates in your area.